Welcome to my channel, Kalani Pepto, and you are listening to... One day, a man from the countryside knocked on the door of a monastery with great force. When the gatekeeper monk opened the door, he was presented with a splendid bunch of grapes. Brother, these grapes are the finest produced from my vineyard. I have come to offer them as a gift. Thank you. I will take them to the abbot immediately. He will be pleased with this offering, replied the monk. No, I brought them for you. Whenever I knock on this door, it is you who opens it. When I needed help because the drought destroyed my crops, you gave me a piece of bread and a cup of wine every day. I hope this bunch of grapes will bring you a bit of the sun's warmth, the rain's beauty and the wonder of God, for it is He who made it grow so splendidly. The monk blushed, for he did not think he deserved such a wonderful gift from nature. The story teaches us the value of kindness and gratitude, and how even the smallest gestures can have a significant impact on someone's life. After receiving the magnificent bunch of grapes, the monk held them and admired their beauty for the entire morning. He was so impressed with them that he decided to share the gift with the abbot, who had always provided him with words of wisdom and guidance. The abbot, pleased with the grapes, remembered that there was a sick brother in the monastery. He thought to himself, I'll give the grapes to him. Maybe they will bring some joy to his life. And so he did. However, the grapes did not stay with the sick monk for long. He realized that the cook had been looking after him for a long time, feeding him only the best meals. When the cook arrived at lunch to serve the sick monk, he was surprised to be presented with a bunch of grapes as a gift. The sick monk explained that he wanted the cook to have them as he was always in contact with nature's produce and would know what to do with them. The cook was impressed by the beauty of the grapes and showed them to his assistant, thinking that no one would appreciate them more than the monastery priest, who was responsible for the holy sacrament and was considered a holy man by many in the monastery. The monastery priest believed that he would be most capable of appreciating this natural marvel. However, he instead gave the grapes to the youngest novice, hoping to impart the lesson that God's work can be found even in the smallest details of creation. The novice was overjoyed at the sight of such beautiful grapes and was reminded of the kind monk who had greeted him when he first arrived at the monastery. As night approached, the novice brought the grapes to the monk at the gates and urged him to enjoy them, knowing that he spent the most of his time alone and could use some happiness. In life, there is a universal principle. What you give is what you receive. Your actions towards others will be reflected to you in the same way. Remember this when you think about how to help others. Every good deed you do will come back to you at some point in your life. This is the power of motivation stories. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my interesting videos.